Hey, what's up coach? Welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna shoot this video and just upload it straight to YouTube. So zero edits, this is very raw, very to the point. And I'm gonna show you the top three discoveries that I've seen with the coaches that we've worked with in 2023. And hopefully you can take what I talk about and execute this in your business. Because when you do, you're gonna see big results. If you just watch this video and you say, oh, those are some good ideas and you don't do anything, then there's nothing else that I can give you in this video that can help you, okay? So write these things down and execute. That's all I ask, okay? So the first thing, and this is number one, because we have coached enough people since 2016 that have businesses that do what I'm about to show you, and these are the people that get the best results. So number one, it's coaches that go from selling session by session which is like you you're selling your time you're selling your your whole business is lesson based where you charge fifty dollars an hour or maybe a hundred dollars per hour and it's coaches that go from that model to upfront payments where parents are committed to three six or twelve months of your training program so you go from selling a lesson to building a program those are two very different things. And when you are selling a program, you have more skin in the game from the parents that pay you. When you sell lessons, there's less of a commitment because they can show up whenever they want, they can book out whenever they want, they can kind of pay however they want. And when someone buys a program, they go through a very specific process. And this way, as a business owner, you are in more control of who you get to work with. All right, and I'm gonna give you a very good example here. I have talked to hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of coaches this year that watch our YouTube videos, that text me after they get done watching one of our videos. And a lot of these coaches, what happens is they have a lot of clients. They have 50 to 100 clients, which, which is cool, that's great. But those clients aren't committed. These are, these are people that they kind of show up whenever, they pay whenever, and these coaches struggle because they don't have reliable income from these 50 to 100 clients. And what we would rather you have is I'd rather you have 25 clients that are dialed in. These are clients that are on a contract that you can expect monthly recurring revenue from versus having 50 to 100 clients that aren't really that serious, that don't have skin in the game. And when you treat your business in that manner, everything changes because you start to realize that a you're not selling lessons anymore b it's going to require a bigger time and a financial bigger financial commitment for the customers that you work with and c your whole business is simplified because now you're never chasing money clients are chasing after you and that's a big mindset shift that you have to make going into 2024 okay so that's number one it's how you sell your program and how you stop selling sessions, okay? That's number one. Number two, this is a killer for a lot of coaches, but this is why I wanna create this video because I haven't really gone into depth that much about this topic, which is really taking ownership over your finances, okay? I know a lot of coaches who can make a lot of money, and that's cool. Uh, we teach coaches how to make more money coaching sports that's the name of our website make money coaching sports.com all right we teach coaches how to do that but there's a lot of coaches that can make money and then when we get to the end of the year there's nothing to show for it they they live way beyond way out of their means meaning if they make 8k in one month they are going to spend a lot of that they they go on some super nice vacation they they go buy a car that they actually can't afford uh they are going into more debt. I mean, there's a, a million different problems that we see that coaches in particular have with finances, and that doesn't need to be a problem for you because what you need to do is you have to shift your mind towards, I'm running a business and I'm not going to get caught up with how other people live when they run and operate their business on Instagram, <laughs> All right? And that's the, that's the biggest thing. Right now, like, it looks so cool on Instagram to post pictures of vacations, post pictures of new cars. Um, like that, That's the cool thing right now on the internet. And if you fall into that trap and you think that that's what success is, 
I'm just telling you straight up, you're an idiot. Like if you think that's what success is, you're an idiot. Uh, because that's not what success is. Success, when, when I think purely financial, it's not how much profit did you make. Uh, it's not uh, like how many cool cars you have. It's going to be how much money at the end of the month are you actually keeping? All right, because again, a lot of coaches can profit a lot in this business. I have talked to more than 25 people this year that make more than a million dollars per year in revenue, okay? So this is a, a really big industry and there's way more coaches that haven't talked to me that make way more than that uh, that have really successful businesses. So you can be super successful in this business, but what you do with your money is very important. And it's a really boring subject because like, it, it's not fun and enjoyable to talk about. Uh, I don't have a ton of content about it, but this video is for you. If, if you have been an idiot with your money and you make money, but you just immediately spend it, you will never have a successful business that way because as you make more money, your spending power is going to go up. <laughs> and you're gonna think that, oh, I just made a lot more money this month, so oh, I'm gonna go spend it. If you do that, I promise you, you are going to be in a world of trouble with your business because how you treat your money is really, really important, okay? That's number two. And there's really not much more I can say about that. The third thing, and honestly, this one's kind of hard for me to talk about <laughs> because I could go in 10 million different directions with this, but I'm gonna try to make this as simple as possible, which is, you want your clients to be on a contract. You want them to be committed. And when I say contract, I mean like a legit contract that they sign when they decide to work with you. It is not some handshake deal or some verbal thing. It is a legit contract. Like coaches that we work with, they have that contract. They implement that contract. They stick with that contract. Um, I have talked to too many coaches though this year and what they do is they might have some contract in place but they don't enforce that contract. So let me give you an example. Let's say that a client pays $2,000 up front for your service for a year, which like I know a lot of coaches who can charge 2K per year for their service per client. And they pay 2K and then after a month they want a refund. And in your contract it states that there are no refunds, but you give them a refund because you're bending towards your customers. and. I know a lot of people always talk about like, oh, the customer's always right. Uh, just give the customer what they want. But the thing is, is like, if you have standards and expectations in your business and people agree to those and you don't actually follow those, then you, my friend, or are a fraud. That means that you are having people agree to something that you don't actually believe in. So why have that in the first place? Okay, and that's really important. And I, that's why I'm taking the time talking about this because a lot of coaches will say things in their agreement that they actually don't live up to. Like they'll say, oh yeah, we're gonna train uh, one time per week at this time, at this place. And then they don't even, uh, like, they don't even fulfill that, their end of the bargain. So when you, when you have stuff like this set up, you need to enforce the rules, but you need to live up to what's on the agreement. Otherwise, don't have an agreement. And I will tell you, an agreement <laughs> that that one thing alone will help your business make way more money if you follow through with it if you don't follow through with it well why have an agreement in the first place okay why have it in the first place now if you really soak in these three things that i just talked about it's going to help you a lot and if you want step-by-step -step, like real guidance with this go down in the link in the description you'll see my phone number there reach out to me i'd love to talk with you if you go to our website right now, you will literally see thousands of case studies from coaches that we've already worked with successfully that have grown six-figure businesses. Uh, a lot of coaches we work with now are in the seven figures. So go check out our website. Go look through the link in the description. You can see my phone number, and I can't wait to talk to you. Have a great day.